All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, let's talk about some risers, GPU risers, gpurisers.com. Let's talk about it. So I uh, started out getting GPU risers and then they ran out of stock. I needed some risers and I went over to this other brand on Amazon. And I immediately noticed the difference. So let me see if I can get this out of here. This is what you get from the Amazon vendor. I can't remember exactly which one it is. I mean, they are working, right? But I noticed right away they give you this little SATA power coupler. And you do not want to use those at all. Don't use it because the power draw. I've never seen it personally, but you're going to be pulling a lot of power on these PCIe cards for your GPU. And these little puppies just may not be up to it. You just might, you know, just might get a little too hot. So don't do it. Use the more, you know, beefier cables like this with the eight pins. Oh, that's the six pin right there. Six pin to your eight pin. This is what I use to connect all my PCIe risers. So, I mean, they give you this. What I do is I just throw this in a box and I make sure I never use it. They give you the little motherboard PCIe slot adapter with the uh, USB cable. All right, all well and good. So you notice I got one power input, USB input, that's it. Pretty thin, pretty light, bare bones. Let's go over to my boys, the GPU risers. This came pretty quick. I think they're not too far from me, actually. Whoa, look at that. Look at that presentation, folks. Thank you, get my little thank you card. Get my little sticker. I love me some stickers. I've been collecting my stickers, put them in a box. I did order these. So these are the splitters, same thing, right? Let's get some background contrast. Here's what I use mostly. I did buy six of these as a trial and I liked them so much, I just bought six more. Why? They're coated, they got this nice mesh coating. In general, they're pretty similar. The plugs, well, let's see. Actually, the plugs are a little beefier. The connectors are a little beefier. The cable, I can't, it's 18 gauge. This is 18 gauge, so they're both 18 gauge. But the actual connector plugs are a little more solid. Just a, It's almost a higher upgrade splitter. And the reason is, I, these do work. These are working perfectly fine. But I have noticed when I was cleaning my GPUs, getting the dust off and taking them off to clean, sometimes these cables are exposed. I mean, there's nothing protecting these other than the, the uh, little coating, right? And they were rubbing on the sharp uh, back plate. Some, some GPUs just have the uh, board as the back plate, sharp edges, sh sharp soldering. And I'm going, oh man, I can easily see how that could uh, just break or just cut, you know, make, cut open one of these casings and then cause a short. And then I said, all right, let me just get these. Look at that puppy. They look good. They're a lot heavier. Oh, my God. They're like twice the weight, beefier, and again, GPU risers. Again, I don't, not an affiliate or anything. I just always watch other people, what they buy. I try it out, and if I agree with them, I'll say, hey, you're right. Good job. And now I buy GPU risers. These are a little pricier than these, obviously. But, hey, come on. You guys know the saying. You get what you pay for. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six babies. Six of those puppies I'll put to work. I'm gonna build a new $14 wood rig and I'm gonna stick on some of those 6600 AMD GPUs. I think I'm gonna do that. Uh, I gotta build the rig first. I already got everything else ready to go. Now I got my risers and my connectors and I got enough power from my ETX, the 750 should be enough to do mm, 60, yeah, six times five, let's say it's 300, 300, so let's say 400 for the GPUs and then for the motherboard and CPUs. I'm getting close to 80% of 750, so I'll have to check, it's pushing it. But uh, hey, if you can run it all of one power supply, why not, right? All right, so I got these, I got these. Now let's look at the risers. I mean, they package this stuff is awesome. It's just 
presentations, everything, right? All right. They're individually wrapped, too, which is sweet. So these were, too. I mean, I'll give the guys credit. They were, they were wrapped, too. So having said that, you have to buy the cables, right? For both sets, you get the riser and the uh, USB. They, and then they give you this crappy little SATA cable, which, again, stay away from, do not use. to try to open this one-handed holy crap come on big money oh there we go okay stay tuned i need i need to, uh two hands to open this puppy oh we're back look at that thank you for your order i ran an e-commerce business a long time ago and i would i know i would always put in little stickers little thank you notes my God, that, that was the best advertising. People would write me and say, wow, you actually thanked me for my business. I never heard of that. They were just so amazed by that. Just a little thank you for, hey, thanks for using us, you know, shopping with us and going from there. All right, let's look at these guys. Again, you get your USB. And I didn't get that one piece out. This is the adapter that goes on the old motherboard. Pretty comparable. Those guys are pretty much, not much you can really deviate from that but the board itself let's get some room here it's like look at the difference it's like a battle it's like an aircraft carrier with a frigate you know what I mean and why is that let's see oh they got more of those guys what are those transistors resistors I can't I don't know I got I gotta learn me some uh, electronics uh, <clears throat> let's turn it the same way so they got the little adapter on the side they got extra adapters so that's that's the key thing right here on the gp risers for ease of cable management they have the uh ah give me a cable give me a cable big guy you can put the old uh six pinner in here like right there couple of ammo right there or if you need to have a different topology on your gpu setup or your rig you can put it right in this guy right here beefier card and they got the little foam backing which is fine uh never had much luck this one this one looks like it has the foam better sticking to the back of the board this one not so much the i will say the one problem i've had with gpu risers or any pci riser i'm just going to say for any and all PCIe risers for GPU risers is uh, the little foam thing will fall off if it's not if you're not mounting a horizontal or something. If I'm vertically hanging my GPUs and I have a PCI riser on it, no matter what brand it is, this little foam backing from the heat will just eventually fall off. So make sure you don't have your motherboard <laughs> right below with your CPU fan because it might get ingested. You know, it almost happened. So these things fall off. I just throw them in a box, these guys, and I'm good to go. Beefier, beefier, uh, beefier PCI card. Nicer little feather thing release right there. Just well better made. It's just quality. Again, those, this works. I've had no problem with this, but this one's a lot beefier. More options for connectors. Probably a little more. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, look at that. These are larger. These are 220, 16 volt. These are... Same thing. Oh, 270. So 270, 16, or is that 220? 270, it says. Can you read that? Focus. 270 versus a 220. 16 volts, a little more juice. Uh, PCIe 1X to PCIe 16X doesn't have PCIe 1X to 16X same so anyway comparable just you know a little more beefier a little more power a little more substantial options for power connectors and stuff like that uh, there you go I do I just like using them I get the stuff in a couple of days I get little thank you notes these are gold right here again safety safety right why not make the cables 
protect them as much as possible because if you are moving stuff around you may chafe one of these guys and bam short all right here you go again i'm not sponsored no affiliate or anything like that Ooh, instagram uh, but check them out if you're not if you want to know what risers use again I went with the other ones because these guys were back ordered and I needed a couple risers just to get running this a couple months ago uh, but I went back to these guys and I went back to these I went back and ordered more of these cables and I am good to go so thanks thank you GP risers where are they there you go all right that's all I got nice little video I'm gonna hook it well what am I gonna do next guys what should I do I've got to build a little wood rack. I got to get some, uh, I got to make a Home Depot run and get about 14 bucks worth of timber, little, little one by twos. And I already have the screws. So yeah, just got to measure my old GPU wood rack and uh, start piecing it together. And I think I'm going to use one of my Wi-Fi motherboards. That way I can pick it up like a little suitcase, a little, little uh, briefcase and just move it wherever I want in the house. Yeah, hmm. Okay, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you guys use GPU risers or what risers you, you recommend. Uh, this, again, this is all I have known. I know the Amazon brand, and I know the GPU riser brand. If there's other, other ones out there, let me know. Uh, this stuff's cool. I love hardware. All right, look, I got a whole bunch in here. Let's see if I got any more. One, two, I think I got six. All right, one, two, three. And uh, pro tip, save your bags. Always save your little static bags. Just put them in a box. Uh, you may need them one day if you're going to move or you're done using them. You just want to save them, archive them, put them in storage, or you want to sell them. You can uh, say you're on eBay. You say, hey, I'm selling my risers. You have the nice box. You have the, all the swag, and you have the nice uh, static bag. People are going to say, wow, all right, cool. You must take care of the stuff, and it's going to help you resale. All right, just a little thought there. And coming up in the next video... New egg. I got a new egg box. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. GPU risers. Out.